Pretty awesome, right? Screen mirror any Vivo phone to your TV completely free and it's wireless. There's no lag as you can see, it's really buttery smooth, okay? And the best part is that you don't have to download any third party apps to screen mirror your Vivo phone to any TV, okay? It's awesome, it's free, it's wireless, let's just dive right into it. Okay, so first up, what you need to do on your Vivo smartphone is to make sure that Vivo phone, your Vivo phone is connected to your home Wi-Fi connection, okay? Go to the settings, go to the Wi-Fi connection and make sure your phone is connected to your home Wi-Fi connection. As you can see, mine is connected right there, okay? But if you don't have home Wi-Fi, you can always use your mobile hotspot. Again, I would not recommend it because mobile hotspot can use your data plan, okay? Depending on where you live, depending on what data plan you have. I would highly recommend you use your home Wi-Fi because home Wi-Fi Wi-Fi, you don't have to worry about data plans, okay? And if you're using Wi-Fi or a hotspot, just gotta make sure the phone and the TV are both on the exact same Wi-Fi connection. And that is pretty much it. Now, let's just jump to the TV and let's do this. Okay, so the first thing you need to do on your TV is to go to the settings page. Now, it's really simple. All you have to do is just click on the menu option on your remote control, obviously. <laughs> and next up, you need to go into the general settings. Now, this might look different on your TV depending on what model or what brand you have, but it should be similar. And if you need any help, just comment down below. I'll definitely help you out, okay? Okay, so next up we need to do is to head over to your network settings. Now inside the network settings, what you wanna do is to open the network settings if you have never done this before. In this case, just op click on the open network settings. Now you have two different options. You can go wireless and you can go wired. In this case, I would just click on wireless and if you're using a your home Wi-Fi, as I suggested before, you can just click on your home Wi-Fi or if you're using a hotspot, then you have to make sure the TV is also connected to that same hotspot. In this case, I won't be using any hotspot, so I'm just gonna click on my home Wi-Fi and enter your password and I, as you can see, it's connected. Okay, so now the TV and our Vivo phone are both on exact same Wi-Fi connection, okay? That is really important. If you're using a hotspot, make sure your Vivo and your TV are both on the same Wi-Fi settings, okay? Now, into the settings, you wanna go into the more connection tab, okay? Just follow my steps and you should be fine. Inside the more connection, scroll down just a tiny bit until you find something called smart mirroring. Vivo called it smart mirroring. It's actually screen mirroring. Pretty awesome, right? If you look at the top, you have the option to connect a mirroring device, okay? Click on that, and if your Vivo and the TV are both on the same Wi-Fi connection, you should be able to see your TV in this case, okay? Just tap on your TV, and you should be able to get a prompt on your TV to allow the permission, okay? Just click OK, click allow, and you should be just fine. As you can see, we're connected right there. And all it takes is just a couple seconds and bam, we are connected. By the way, watch till the end, I'll show you a couple bonus tips, okay? This is pretty cool. You can do tons on this. The audio will be coming from the TV. I don't have anything on my Vivo, so I cannot show it to you, but everything is so cool. You can use your camera if you want to. As you can see, it's working live and it's buttery smooth. There's absolutely no lag. I just took a photo. Let me open a photo. Let me open up the photo you can see that it's actually working on the tv now you can zoom in it will be zoomed in on the tv but as you can see we're not full screen okay to go full screen you have to enable the auto rotation as you can see i've just enabled it and you can actually rotate your phone to make sure it's full screen on the tv like that pretty cool right so 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 cool you can do tons on this by the way be sure to subscribe to the channel okay it's gonna help the channel a lot again if you need any help just comment down below and let me know what you will be using this so, for to disconnect okay. is really simple if you go into the control center you can actually see there is a disconnect option from your notification panel okay but if you don't want to do that you're gonna go into the settings go all the way down to smart mirroring click on devices again and there you can see there is an option called disconnect and you have a couple more options which i'll show you in a bit but if you want to disconnect just tap on disconnect and it should be disconnected in a couple seconds now vivo phones usually tends to take a couple seconds so just be patient wait for it and it should automatically be disconnected as you can see we're still waiting it's taking quite a bit huh but in this in the meantime you can subscribe to the channel okay i re really really appreciate it now if you want to do this again you don't have to go through all the process again just go to the connection tab tap on your TV and then you can, as you can see, we're connected. Pretty, pretty simple. Now, if you notice one thing you that you cannot see the notification panel the first time we did it, as you can see, then you cannot see the notification panel on your TV because it's privacy protected, okay? So if you wanna do that, go to the screen mirroring smart tab again and disable the privacy option as you can see. 
where you can see the control center. Pretty awesome. I'm Riz and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.